Quasi, quasi amo Arthur Evin, il mercato del pesce. We have this wonderful lady, we came to get some fish today. What's your name? Laura. Laura, la signora Laura. Signora Laura is going to get some fish. And we are going to get some fish. Guarda anche te che se c'è. Ah, è fresco questo pesce. Non mo dice da me. Eccoci qua, here we are. It's a wonderful uh, seafood market of the Bronx, in Arthur Avenue. We're going, today we're going to go through a couple things. We're going to gather some seafood, some uh, fresh fish for a beautiful seafood feast. Not only this place has the most wonderful seafood and fish you can find. Anyway, I'll come all the way to West, from Westchester just for this. But then we got Frank. Oh, Frank, yeah. how long have you been coming here? Uh, at least 20 years, maybe more. Uh, probably yeah. more, oh, I would yeah. say probably more. Yeah. And ever since I've been here, in this part of the United States, this has been my seafood right. market of yeah. choice. once a week, twice a week, yep. many years. Uh, they're gonna plan to make a little camping tent in the back, just for me. <laughs> Okay, these are some eels and capitoni we have here, which are um, a staple for Christmas Eve dinner. One of the seven fishes that uh, most Italians have to have for Christmas Eve dinner. Um, this one here is a capitoni. It's a little tastier than the regular eel, but eels are very, very tasty. They have very few bones and um, most people fry them, some people roast them in the oven, some people fry them and then pickle them. You put them in a little vinegar or garlic, hot sauce, hot pepper, and they, they could stay a long time like that. But um, this is the only time of the year that we have the eels and capitoni. And uh, we may have some until a little bit after New Year, after New Year's, but uh, this is pretty much it. Um, and most people wait till the last few days to buy the eels because they want to buy them alive. Oh. They want to buy them alive and keep them alive, and once they're clean, even if you cook them that night, you'll see them wiggling around in the frying pan as you're frying them, because the nerves in the eel are very, very, uh, they last a long time, I guess. Um, but it's actually a very, very good type of fish. And bacala is also a staple. The bacala, this is the musili bacala, it comes from Canada. And it has to be soaked for about uh, about three days, and then people either fry it or they make a salad or they make it in the oven with potatoes and onions and tomato. It's excellent that way too. But those are two uh, unusual uh, fish that most Italians like to have for Christmas Eve, in addition to shrimp and fillet and salmon and calamari and scongili too. But these two are, you know, something a little different. Salute.